All right, we were discussing this earlier. Here's a question for all of you as well. What's the rudest workplace behavior you've ever experienced? And what are some of your pet peeves when it comes to the workplace? You want to start? You want to give it? Are you asking me? Oh, yes. I'd say just empty coffee mugs. Oh yes. When people just leave them. If you're behind. sharing work, uh, yeah, workspace. Yeah, when you share a workspace, of course. I, that's one of my. Someone leaves pet. behind their dirty utensils yeah, and yeah, expecting that. you to clean it. Yeah. And what that. about the dirty keyboard when someone's uh, used it before you are eight? Uh, that's why I carry alcohol swabs <laughs> every day. <laughs> Well, think about it and while you do, let's tell you about a workplace trend, one that has popularly been deemed the rudest workplace behavior. It's the infamous hey in digital workspaces and hey by that I mean H-E-Y when someone sends you a text like that. A hey text message, just yeah. that. Now it's a seemingly innocuous word that holds the power to in fact induce anxiety and uncertainty among people in the office. Now let me explain this. Picture this, you're diligently going through your tasks for the day when a lone hey appears on your work chat window. No follow-up message, no context, just a haunting pause. And cue the nerve-wracking questions that flood your brain then. What does this mean? Am I about to face the wrath of layoffs? Am I being summoned because I did something wrong? Why is this person from so-and-so department exactly. messaging me? Sending you a message and just saying hey and then not saying a word after that. Well, this phenomenon or this practice is called hay hanging. <laughs> H-E-Y, hay hanging. And it's a phenomenon. It's enough to get anyone riled up. Because, of course, your brain gets triggered after that. Why is this person contacting me and what's coming next? Veterans and senior employees agree that this is just plain rude. And in fact, this became popular because a popular social media figure who goes by the name Duchess of Decorum and schools the world on financial literacy, workplace etiquette, according to her as well, all digital communication at work should have a clear agenda, clear purpose and a hey text just leaves the recipient in a state of confusion, wondering why they're being summoned. It's like an unfinished puzzle. Nobody likes being left hanging with uncertainty. Exactly. I mean, just, just get to the point. I think that's the whole idea of, you know, bringing, of highlighting this. Some of you may be wondering, isn't it just polite, polite to say hi? before diving into the nitty-gritty. Sure, in real-life conversations, definitely it might be, but in the realm of asynchronous communication, which is where messages are read and responded to at different times, it doesn't quite work that way. Right, we're all on different schedules, juggling remote work, office life, Zoom calls, making immediate replies a rarity here. So here's a lesson for all of you. Skip the hay, get straight to the point, explain what you need right off the bat. No need for mysterious cliffhangers yeah. here. <laughs> It's not just about avoiding awkward pauses, it's also about clarity. Avoid hay hanging by assuming everyone's busy and provide direct communication. And if you're the unfortunate recipient of a hay hanging, seize, then seize control. Respond with confidence and don't let it get to you. Remember, the digital world may lack nuance, but you can still be witty, direct and also polite as well. Yeah, so ditch the haze, own your chats and let clarity reign supreme. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.